Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3. Uh, in the last episode, we started everything off and we got through the first three levels of this world and now we're going to be jumping into the fourth and hopefully, hopefully, be finishing this one off. In this, you'll actually see there's two gems to get. Uh, one is for getting all the boxes and one is actually a secret gem. Crash! Leave them for Tiny, or Crash get crushed! I can tell you right now, Tiny, I'm gonna crush you. You you ain't got nothing on Crash. He's a bandicoot, what are you, a tiger? Bandicoots could take a tiger, why not? I don't even know if a bandicoot's a real thing. I don't think it is, but I think it could take a tiger. Well, look at, look at Crash, like, he has pants on. Tigers don't wear pants. Anything that wears pants is probably superior. So this is a, another another sort of level that we're going to see a few times in this game, is crashes running towards the camera. Uh, this is a little strange to see nowadays. Uh, just because there's, I don't think there's too many games like this. And it's very different to see. It's it's almost a little disorienting because you never quite know what's going to be coming up next. Like you get a little bit of a preview, but that's it. Oh, and I think this is actually the introduction of TNT. So TNT, when you jump on it, it counts down. And once it gets to zero, it explodes. So, you know, don't don't be around it when it explodes, because crash crash blows up. And his eyeballs bounce out, and there, there isn't really anything left at that point. So, you know, stay away from that. It's, it's bad for your health. Oh, and this is the other thing we have to look out for. Boxes of Nitro. So, Nitro, it's a lot like TNT, other than the fact if you even so much as touch it, you die. So, just... Just stay away from it as much as you can, because if you get close to it, well, you know, you're, you're not going to be too much of a bandicoot anymore. Uh, we so luckily we get to another bonus round. And I love... I know I say this a lot, but I, I like a lot of video game music, I, I just find it really, really good. And this is no exception, I, I really enjoy this. So even though I think I've already missed a box, I'm still gonna try it as much as I can. And I think this is actually a pretty good time to show off some Crash's move. So, um, earlier there you saw me slide under this. Uh, he can crawl as well if he's under something. Slide at the moment, he can do a big belly flop. Um, those moves aren't actually used all that much in the game, other than a few specific places. But it's sort of neat to see Crash do that, even though you don't really need them. Just gotta make sure you're running and spinning. If you don't, well, you're probably dead. No! No! I always miss that box. There's been several times where I've gone through this level and I always miss that box. That's one of the boxes I I know I'm probably going to miss. And it always takes me a few few times through the level if I haven't played the game in a while to, to really get that box. It, it just bothers me a little bit. So now we have another run back segment from the Triceratops. And this, this, this one is about the same difficulty as the last one. It, right now, not too difficult. And he stomps on me. Just... Just to really rub it in. I guess I probably shouldn't have ran back to that one box. Oh well. Not too, doesn't take long to get back to where I was. Where I were. Where I was? I don't know. Gra grammar is a thing. <laughs> and a thing that I'm not very good at. And I, and I burn. I don't... This game... I think one thing that really it had going for it, it, it took no time in between deaths to get back playing the game. 
because you saw me die there a couple times, and almost immediately I was back playing. And I think that's one way this game sort of gets you to play a bit more, because it just has you nonstop playing. And I just think that's so smart. Like, you, I think that's why some of these games are just so addicting that you can just play and play and play and play and just not stop. And like, you just, you know how far you get and you have these uh, quick checkpoints. Just a great game. Really great game. So now we here, here we have actually another Coco level. And it's a water level. Not a swimming water level, but like jet ski. Which is which is pretty neat. I it this is actually one thing you actually saw quite a bit back in the day with uh, like the early 3D consoles, like the N64 and the PlayStation and whatnot. Are are these like motocross water sport games? Like I even remember having a a couple of them for. The PlayStation when I was little, and I knew there was I know there's a couple for uh, N64 as well, like uh, Wave Racer, and I just find it really interesting that there's just so much of this on these consoles. It must have been to show off like all the 3D that you can do in water, because oh no, I don't want to get hit. This no, 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 come on, come on, go back. I know I wouldn't say I would try too hard to get all the boxes, but in these early levels, it's just, it's a lot easier than the later levels, so I, I don't mind try at least giving it a shot to get some of these. Oh man, that was close. This is like the level, wow, that, that disappeared right beside me. <laughs> Good thing I was not anywhere moved closer to it. Anywhere moved closer to it. So, a lot, most of the majority of the things in this level are actually one hit kills. So, if you touch anything, like the bombs, obviously, but if you touch, like. I sort of, I, sorry, I just wanted to checkpoint. But yeah, if you touch anything, so if you touch the bombs, even if you touch uh, the birds that are uh, sitting on some of the boxes in some of the areas, the birds can kill you. Which, I didn't actually know until last time I played this game, which was actually a few months ago. Because I was just running around getting some boxes and having some fun with this. And one of the birds killed me. And I had no idea that that could even happen. And I have been playing this game for a long time. And I have played these levels a lot. Cause especially the first world, because I really I really enjoy the first world. The first world it is pretty up there with my favorite, I think. I think, yeah. Hang on. Well that one that one is that level. You know what? Actually probably Probably the fourth world is probably my favorite. Now that I think about it, but but that, I think that's more because of the boss. I really like the boss there. Although the second boss is my favorite because it it's my favorite enemy in Crash Bandicoot. And now we see as we get back from retrieving our crystals and our gem, we only have one thing left to do in this world. And that's to fight Tiny. Tiny Tiger. Well, let's jump into it and get at it. Crash, Hi, Tiny. Coco, store the pretty crystals. Tiny, take them I didn't back steal them. In Gladiator I found them. I'm going to take you down the gra Gladiator. Gladiator Arena. And. I'm gonna win. Neo Cortex, there he is, looking over everything. You're going down, Tiny. Oh, Tiny's just so cool. He is really, really cool. So, this boss has a few different sort of forms, but more so stages. So, the first one, he's gonna be jumping around with his 
with just jumping around a little bit and trying trying to trying to stomp on us with his converts. I didn't want to get eaten by a lion. And that was actually the second stage is he's he sends out a bunch of lions to try and kill us. So get out of here tiny with your converse, your nice red converse. You can spin these lions, but it's just a little easier to jump around them. Oh man. This is what happens when I don't play this game for a while. I, I completely forget how to play. Get out of here, Tiny. Get. But hopefully I can I can do this this time. Come on. Come on. No, I am not lion dinner today. This tiny texture is really easy. Just don't stop running. And just run in a circle. He he does he just doesn't understand that if he were to jump diagonally, he'd get me. Hands down. Without a doubt, he'd get me. I'm not even gonna deny it yet. He would get me. Cause I'm just I just like running in circles. Run in circles. What he's gonna do? He's just gonna follow me. Well I run in circles, run in circles. And Ben, you're out of here, tiny. Cha! Cha! And this is actually what the bosses give us. It's a uh, power-up. So now we can do a supercharged body slam. And I think that becomes a bit more relevant in the next levels. In the next world, well yes. Done, children. Thank By you, Aku. Aku, tiny, I do my you best. You unlock the gate to the next time travel area. Go Thank back you. to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From you know, there, I might... you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. You know who would be really good voicing him, I think? I think Morgan Freeman. I think every game could use a little bit Morgan Freeman. Don't be sad, Crash. You came out with, like, a power-up. Like, look at this. Look at your super-powered jump now. You got a little shockwave. You do a little spinning in the air. That's pretty good. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be ta taking on the start of the second world. And I, I hope you like what you saw. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, I've been DJ Cinnamon Bun. Bye.